Thank you, Madam Speaker. I uh, join my colleague, Mr. Hueso, uh, to rise and to ask that we adjourn in memory of my friend of 40 plus years, Peter Douglas, a ferocious warrior for the California coastline. It seemed that Peter had nine lives, but unfortunately he didn't have 10. As was mentioned, Peter survived Nazi Germany as an infant, uh, a Jewish infant, I might add. He survived 11 attempts to remove him as executive director of the California Coastal Commission. But after seven years of battling cancer, the cancer finally caught up to him and took him from us. As the assembly member who represents one third, fully one third of the California coastline, I want to thank Peter for four decades of dedication to making sure our children and our children's children have a wild and open coastline to visit and to enjoy, and also, as Mr. Hueso said, to enjoy access to that coastline. I first met Peter 41 years ago when I was executive director of the North Coast Environmental Center, and he was legislative staff for Assembly Member Alan C. Rohde, and even then was leading the effort to put together a coastal protection for the people of California. As county co-chair of the Yes on Proposition 20 coastal initiative, I worked with Peter to get it passed. Until his final days, he was every bit the champion and advocate for coastal protection as he was when he led that coastal fight 40 years ago. Although he will be greatly missed, each of us who loves the coast will be able to enjoy his legacy each time, each and every time we set foot on the sand or stand on top of a bluff in, on the California coast and watch the sun set. And what comes to mind is every time you fly into the San Francisco Bay Area and you look at the Sonoma Coast, the Marin Coast, and the San Mateo Coast, all within an hour's drive of seven million people, and the openness and the wildness and the undeveloped nature of that coast is a legacy uh, that will live on forever as long as we continue what he started, as long as we make sure future generations continue the work uh, the, of the uh, Coastal Act. There's another lesson Peter taught us, and that is to be true to ourselves and to follow our inner compass. I can't think of a person who had, had a true north, knew exactly where he was going, knew exactly what he cared about, and spent his entire adult life pursuing that. Uh, and that led him to have an impact on the world that we all should strive for. I'm proud to be able to say that at the end of Peter's life, he, he chose to spend his last few months uh, he, uh, on the wild north, uh, north coast coastline of Del Norte County. Uh, he retreated to the coastal redwoods uh, of uh, the furthest north county on the California coast. And just like those big trees, he was a giant. He will be missed by all present and future Californians. And I think the challenge to us is to keep up his legacy. Mm -hmm.